We now return to Let's Play Cleopatra. Okay, I'm gonna turn up the speed. Because I think that we are pretty much set to where I can be. My infrastructure is all ready to go. We need set to be on my side. Because I have a feeling that these little excursions are going to become more threatening uh, a lot more rapidly than I'm anticipating. Perfect inundation, that's fantastic. Maybe 80% is too much, 70% will work. I've mentioned before that having it too fast means that uh, because this game was developed for much slower processors, slower clock speeds that uh, sometimes having it too fast the game just screws up a little bit. I'd like to know why that is not changing. Okay, come on. She only got that far this time. I do not understand why the food distributors take so much effort to get somewhere. They must be topping up everyone as they go along, and I think that's part of the problem. Later games must fix that so that they only take food if they're actually empty. Because it seems... okay, okay. I, I think we do have a problem here. Um, we are seeing that we are consistently underperforming. So I think we've just taken too much of the reeds, although these guys seem to think there's... <laughs> the entire team is going to go gather those reeds. Let's see if they actually come back with any. I'm curious to know if they... Uh... Nope, everyone's coming back empty-handed. Okay. So we've oversaturated that market. I would hate to delete those precious things that we need. Okay, they're empty. It just looked full. Are you sure? Usually they don't animate if they don't have anything, but I guess they don't have anything, so... Alright. We will get rid of that in order to put a papyrus maker over here, which, again, might just be too much anyway, and we will now switch to brewery on a better scale and it is a better scale that we will be using to increase our purchases. We may need to purchase more. Although we do have uh, we do have a fair amount right here anyhow. We'll see how long that lasts. Okay, we just sold some beer to the dock. That's good. I do appreciate the detail in these games. How most of the buildings have four sides. And you can obviously see that the brewery, for example, is spinning around in the same direction everywhere I go, but if you looked at the dock when I was doing that, it had four sides. If they can get there. They're already skilled. Company cannot reach its. It's got archers. You can't shoot over the statues. Hmm. Okay. Well. Maybe I should open these up so that every time they respawn, these guys will take care of it and gain experience. Got to keep an eye on this. I don't want to be over importing. And we have no reeds to speak of. That's not good. I wish I could get to that. But there is no way. There's no no land connection that would allow me to get there. It really sucks. 
Uh, and I don't even have fairies. Like, if I had a fairy that I could put here, I could at least have that, but they don't even allow that. Which makes all of this seem really bizarre. I mean, why why have wild birds? You can actually hunt these in the original Pharaoh, I believe. Because I have yet to see it in the Cleopatra expansion, but I'm pretty sure you could have hunters. So this is just purely for for the look of the thing, which is weird. We are out of food again, as expected, because we've built up a lot of places, so it'll be another harvest before, before that turns around on me. But it should stabilize here eventually, and maybe, maybe, I should be accepting of fish. How are we doing for unemployment? 20% now, okay. Well, let's turn that down for a minute. And let's use up some of my, my wall. No, my tower. Um, should I have one there, or should I just put it here? Is that touching a... I hope that's touching a road. It is, okay. Uh, because having them come here, I don't, I, I don't know. Until, until we actually have, uh, some more attacks up the backside, I'm not gonna waste them all here. Instead, I think I should probably have some fish boats up here, because I think we're going to need to supply our people. Although, I don't know that, because we're about to lose some people. You know what? Let's have them take up some immediate excess since there's nothing else here. And that way we at least have a little bit more. This is now... Oh, fuck. That sucks. Having a reserve would have been nice until it leveled out, but hopefully this time around it'll level out, although I don't know, these guys are going to jump up a lot. That's that's really what eats into the food, is that they jump up like six or seven different evolution levels. And so they need to fill that with the population, so it eats up a large amount of people. Four months. This is almost done. We do have some more weapons. But right now the recruitment is focusing on filling that and not this, so I can't really plunk anyone else down and be justified in doing so. I should probably tell one of these guys to get so they keep pulling it out of the warehouse, because they could definitely stand to do so. I don't know why they're not. And I think... Yeah, they just need pottery. So these open spaces that I've still got around here uh, can just be used for putting in more people should we need it which at the moment I don't appear to. So the whole goal of this mission is just to last several years until basically the Assyrians give up. Um, the waves becoming more and more problematic. One, two, three, four, so if I do that, that's kind of gonna screw me too. Uh, okay. A large amount of unemployed. What's that doing to... Uh, it's just prosperity stagnant. Probably need to be focusing more on exports. Uh, weaponry could be something that would help that after the threat is gone, but I think once the threat is gone, uh, the game is over. So we don't need to be worried about that. Um, Export when we are over four? Because if I wait to eight, they're not going to fill in the quarter that I assigned to them. So I don't think they're going to... I don't think it'll count. Whereas if they're just waiting in the wings, and let's, speaking of, let's go ahead and get another one up and running for that. Uh, if they're just waiting out here, then we can refill every time we've purchased four. And that should be good for increasing my, my money revenue, because as we saw, I will be able to sell weapons at a pretty good price per weapon. I mean, it's like a thousand uh, 
What's the currency of this game? It's not dinar. Debon. Um, per per trade there, so that'll be that will help our financial situation immensely. These guys can't get access to. That's that's what really sucks about not being able to have multiple recruiters, because you have to wait. Especially now that they have to go through the academy. On top of that, you have to wait for that. And I think it's a dumb mechanic to have the towers filled in through the recruiter as well. You know, if if you're going to have a mechanic where they have to eat in population anyway, then that should just be enough to man the tower. Like you shouldn't need more. I'm not a game developer, so what do I know? How are the gods? Congenial. It's, it's been a while. I don't know why it takes so long for the festivals to happen in this map. It seemed like we were able to have one every couple months. I'm not going that slow in the speed. I guess I'm going a little slower than I thought. I thought I was going 70. I am not. If we hit this, we have. So now they should be filling in our archers. They are. Uh, well, I kind of want to do infantry, but chariots are better. Just They are just better. And again, I really don't want to go fighting in the field. I think I'm in a stronger position when I can actually have not only my towers, but as we saw, guys on the wall just helping out. I don't know how strong these are compared to an actual unit in the game, but I would imagine they'd have to be a little bit stronger, right? They're meant to be there for being sieged, so I would imagine they are stronger defensively. But I don't know. I've never dug into any of the metadata for any of these games because I don't play that way. I don't do the min-maxing stuff, but uh, I don't know. It'd just be interesting to know, I guess. Here they come. Okay. Let's slow down the speed a little bit. Oh, because they are coming much faster. Uh, you guys, engage nearby enemies and come up here. You guys engage nearby enemies by coming here. Oh, is that it? Okay, well, you know what? I mean, it's... Let's go charge and break this enemy formation. <laughs> Speed up a little bit. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Uh... Well, I mean, we'll make it. Fuck it. But I do actually want them to be attacking that faster. I would like these guys actually to be... Fuck the wall. Would you just go to the road? Okay, that worked out fantastically. Engage nearby enemies. This one, please. <laughs> Got him surrounded. So definitely having chariots that can just immediately... Are you freaking kidding me? It took you that long to kill one unit? Jeez. Chariots are tough. That's why we should have more of them. You can go home now. Finish recruiting. should probably... See, our food situation is incredibly precarious. I do not like the fact that they are empty when we just began planting. I should maybe think about getting another workstation down here to have people go and... Because we've got a lot here. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get them out there a lot faster than they are.
God, they're sympathetic, congenial, I don't know, another round of shrines to make everyone happy? By the time we get around to set again, he's gonna fucking be pissed. Do one to Osiris, do one to Ta, and do one to Set. Out here? Sure. I realize that's going to collapse eventually, but it takes them a while to collapse, it seems like. So we just continue on. Uh, we still can't get food to the backside, which might mean I need to put another bazaar there. Because they keep going, but she's got no food, apparently. Didn't change them. So by the time she gets there, it's just... It's a bad deal. It's just a bad deal because of the way this works. Like, they do just eat the food as she wanders, and so by the time she gets to this back corner, it's no good. Which doesn't make sense because I don't think I really had that kind of problem before. Okay, we do have a little bit more barley. Trade route closes because we were attacked. Well, that doesn't make any fucking sense. We repelled them, so why... Okay, well, fuck. So what do we? What did we lose out on, then? Export papyrus, export beer, uh, import chariot, import copper, export weapon. So whatever we lost out on, it did not affect me. We can still get pottery if we need it, which we don't. I cannot tell what we lost. From what I can tell, nothing. Other than just someone else who was buying. So we'll have to see what that does to my pocketbook. Or pocket vault, as the case may be, I don't know. I'm sure people had pouches, money pouches, money purses in this time. Should I import, import, employ people in, uh, that's not helpful, that's not a helpful overlay at all, there we go. I really hate to do that. I mean, I got a four by here that's no good to me anyway, but I could turn it into two buys with a line of. Eh. I just don't want to open this up and have because if I if we're already having trouble getting food, I don't want the market lady to be wandering down here and going back and forth. That just doesn't seem like a good idea to me. And like I said, I think if we put forts out here, that will be my defense. Since we've already done it down here, I'll go ahead and finish this, just so we have it. But I'm not going to do it up there. I think that is a disaster waiting to happen. It has road access. It does not have road access, because it's got the thing in the way. God damn it. So it's actually going to have to be right there, and then let's go over here and make sure. It seems really stupid actually having towers so close together. It seemed like a good idea at the time, but then I didn't realize how, uh, how terribly close that actually is. Fully stocked, that's fantastic. Yeah, eh, whatever. We'll just leave it. It'll fill in with a few more people. Again, though, putting another tower down might mean that I'm using these guys to put too much processing power to putting someone on the tower, which might not be beneficial to me in any way, shape, or form. Uh, let's do a fort with infantry. I'll get them right up in the front. And I feel it's appropriate putting them right next to the festival square, seeing as how 
uh, our patron deity is the god of war, so... Well, chaos and death and destruction, but... For the purposes of the game, he is our war deity. Well, not really that either, since he doesn't do a frickin' thing. But whatever. So we'll get that started, we'll get another chariot up here. Use that as a flanking maneuver. Put, I don't know, archers? If we ever get attacked from the side, and, and based upon the fact that both of them have shown up here in the, on the road, I don't think we ever will, but if we do, um, they'll probably be overrun and slaughtered. But we can put archers here just so they can help. We can get them in the front shooting as the chariots pincer them and the infantry just hold the line. And then, of course, the behind-the-wall archers who have never yet had a chance to shoot anybody because it takes them forever to walk through the city for some reason. You'd think that the shortcut would be going through here as opposed to here. It just looks like there are fewer tiles to go, but whatever. We lost a huge chunk of people, and it had no impact whatsoever on my employment. Detrimental effect because of the fort. Oh, fuck me. Well, okay then. I did not realize the uh, effect of that was so enormous. Holy crap. That literally is what knocked everyone out. Jeez. Okay. Not in my backyard. Uh, 600 heads of lettuce. Um, well, we're about to have a problem there. They need it in six months. Okay, so at least we have that. We'll have to keep an eye on this. Um, we need to also just pause for a minute. Uh, we need to, we need, we need to get a fort out here. Um, I don't know, should I put a, put the fort over here then? Because the desirability seems to be blocked. This is bad, but it's not having a huge effect. We'll put the fort here. Right in the way of the chariots, but... Christ, I, didn't ha I did not realize it would reach that far. Makes me nervous about putting anything here, then, because I don't think... I mean, this is probably pretty detrimental as well. It's not affecting anything, so I'm not going to worry about it right now, but... Still got 16% unemployment. Lavish festivals. Ta is still... Still helping us out. We're getting all the food this time. We'll have some chickpeas to sell. How's the money situation? Okay, excellent. Excellent this year. Um, we are very poor still on the reeds. I don't think that will ever recover, if I'm honest. It just doesn't seem like it will. In fact, maybe I should get rid of one of these papyrus makers and just make another brewer, since we still seem to have an excess amount of barley. So I can either turn that down, or I can just turn it around into profit. And I can tell you what makes more sense to me. Okay. So we do have now enough to fulfill this. There you go. Why they put it here first, rather than the get warehouses, I don't fucking know. That is aggravating as hell. And I probably, if I'm going to be doing that, should not allow them to do it everywhere. Because... Now we're never going to have reeds if, uh, if we fill it up too much. Chickpeas can't drop the chickpeas, so we've clearly got too many chickpeas. I could put them in my food. Because uh, we're not, we're definitely not filling up on the fish, but I don't also know if they are, because I never, I have never 
This this one is not going to be enough. Like I said, the only reason we even have it is just in case someone requests fish. But the amount of people it's going to require to, to fill that up, I just it's not feasible. So I think I had thought about doing fishing up here. It's disappointing we can't get to that. Well, we're, we're going to have to knock these out anyway. Probably going to get yelled at for having too many people as it is. But if we've got too many people, then it's just it's one more thing we're going to have to protect because that's going to be the first thing they go and attack. Which I guess is okay. Yeah, okay. That'll be fine. What the hell is here? I don't understand why I can't build there. You've already got too many people. Then we'll just, uh, Do I have something running on the front? I don't think I do. I probably shouldn't either, because then they're going to be wandering that way looking for people. Although they, these guys haven't seemed to have that problem. They seem to know which side of the road they need to be walking on when they're looking for people. Probably also don't need them to be wandering that far. So, I know where the next forts will go. They will go all up in this field, because that's where the attacks are going to be. And I still... You know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna open this up. And we're gonna let these guys attack into there to build up some experience. These guys should have some. They're perfect morale and skilled. These guys are daring and skilled. Let's see how much this actually... Okay, I did not really want you guys engaging in melee when I said range, but... I don't think you got them all. doesn't seem to give me any experience. I honestly don't know how many they need to kill before they get experience. They're just... Chariots are very hard to look at and, and see how many you've got because of this nonsense. Um, so I just I thought maybe I'd actually lost one. Which would have been ridiculous. Okay, so we definitely now have enough food we are sustaining. So I don't think I want even that much in here. And if it comes to it, and we've still got full granaries, then we will also be selling some of that, which I can't. So, never mind that, but we'll maybe switch that over to chickpeas. Because that at least I can sell, although I... This guy has not moved, and no one has come to buy chickpeas. Even though we are... So, no, we aren't. Oh, shit. That's what we lost. We lost the guy that buys chickpeas. Okay, well, in that case, now we will be emptying that. And we will be accepting it as food here. All right. Well, I think we're doing okay. I think we're going to finish this as we need to, although high unemployment is where we're facing problems. The quick and easy way to fix that, of course, is just knock down some homes. We are not fulfilling our brewery. I've overbrewed. I should probably 
switch over to importing. I mean, 1800 is pretty good. Or 800, rather. As opposed to 10. I don't know, the number adjustment is going to be an issue for me. These guys should be employed. We had a shit inundation this year. So that's fantastic. These guys have employment, so that's also fine. Uh, the only way I can think to just knock this down is, like I said, just start knocking down houses. Although it doesn't really hurt us to have extra here. Uh, they are an expense, and I don't think our taxes are actually... I mean... Well, okay, I mean, they they were a fourth of our exports, so that's actually quite a, a considerable amount. Whereas wages... Wages were a third, okay. Wages are a third of the expenses, so... Actually, no. I was looking at that. I was looking at our net. Wages are actually less of an expense than uh, taxes are an income. Gift from Faro. Perfect. Well, I mean, that's another thing I could do is start making weapons, because we haven't had weapons for a while. And if I start making weapons as an industry, well, there we go. Because I could make more weapons. I could... We will sell weapons. Okay, they're already being sold over four, so we will import 400 copper, which is going to be too much for all of this, I realize. We still don't have an excess of anything, uh, breed-wise. I mean, we're not making enough papyrus. And there's not enough regrowth to justify going above two. Because there's that, yes, but those guys are about to come and get it, so... I don't know, I think we are where we're at. We're not going to get much further than this. Can we have a freaking festival, please? Well, let's speed this up. Hopefully this doesn't screw me too hard on this. See, now this is what makes me think maybe I can get another brewer in there, but I think I'm wrong. Because that one's not employed yet, or not full yet, so it's just, I don't know. I did increase my import of it. It's just, let's just do this. Let's just do this. This happens how many years? I'm honestly not sure how many waves we take. I think it's seven years. Surely we've had seven harvests by now. Well, we haven't hit the... We haven't hit the prosperity. Maybe if I finish this, uh, then we'd be done. So, with that in mind... Heavy breathing. Let's go ahead and delete some homes. Cue the, you need more people. I guess that's still pretty high unemployment, I don't know. I didn't really mean to take out two housing blocks. Eight percent, I guess, is too, uh, what, what is too high? Does it need to be five percent? It's a shame that the forts don't actually seem to have employment numbers. I'm sure they do somewhere in the back of all this, but... Well, 
Well, I, I, I feel like if we can just get that done, unemployment's still the problem. If we can just get this done, I feel like we probably met the conditions. Okay, that's, it's deleting them all because it's a single household. I feel like we've met the conditions that we will probably actually complete this as soon as I get all my pillars to where they need to be. Um, maybe I need to do more lavish festivals too so that they actually uh, last a little longer there. I am now over exporting it looks like. That could be a detriment. The exporting doesn't work very well. Let's slow that down. I don't want to be too overwhelmed. Uh, we need you guys to come hold ground in a loose formation up here. We need you guys to come hold ground here. We need you guys to hold a loose formation up here. We will begin the charge immediately. Our worship of set means absolutely nothing. Oh look, they are coming slightly from a different angle. Go charge. Run them over. There is a bit of wind coming through. Okay. How about... Uh, can we just say engage nearby enemies? I did not mean exactly at that point. I kind of wanted you guys to... Okay, how about you guys engage nearby enemies? Here. And this formation can come up and stand there. I think we're done, actually. We're now veteran. I should probably stop relying on them so much. On the other hand, I could probably just leave the forts hanging around, and that would probably be fine. We have our own kill pen here, so maybe I can have you guys go and uh, kill some nearby... So what... Is that the symbol when it when it does the sword there? It's a specific enemy? It did not move the flag, I will note. Alright, time to speed up again. Sent forth to far off lands does me no good, set, but thanks anyway. Okay, we're maintaining weapons. What have we got going here? Fish. What have I got going here? Lettuce, papyrus, reeds. We definitely are not producing enough to sell. I'm not even producing enough to continue making on my own. We're also not producing enough beer. I guess I can't maintain that. I wish it would bring me the list. I like how in Zeus you could tell what your maximum import was. Because maybe I can't get 12 because I can't import that much at one time. It just seems a little silly. Okay, we've hit everything. We've hit the three things that we need. So this is definitely not the not the problem with our victory conditions. Maybe it is seven seven victories and not a year's thing. I honestly don't know. But I'd hate to end this one and then have another five minute episode. We can't just go attack somebody, right? Assyria is too far away. So far away that the map is doubling. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going to end this one. We have culture. We've got the prosperity we need. Do we need to just hit the end of the month? We've got the population that we need. I feel like it is, in fact, a timed thing 
that we that, it, that this is a survival mission meaning that we have to survive for a certain amount of time. And three gods is a pain in the ass. You don't have enough time between festivals to keep them all happy. I should probably move the fish, if I'm honest. Move the gathering point closer to here. It just makes more sense than having them spend all that time wandering down here to pile it up. Because it's not being exported via the dock, I don't think. I think there's a guy that comes along and buys it. We're not exporting anything of our own anymore. I can't get my own papyrus set up to, to stay. I'm surprised they're staying corralled. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, this ought to this ought to keep the snake population down. We're just fine. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna end the episode here because I honestly don't know how much longer we need to go. We've hit all of the goals. We just need to hit a time, uh, which is why this kind of mission is stupid. That's right. Okay, well, I'm going to end this one here. I'll see you next time.